Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back. It's me, Wine with Tea. Think about changing my name to Wine and Time with Tea because over here is more than just wine. Uh, we do some gardening. We do a little bit of shopping. As y'all can see, all my tea move bag. I finally jumped the gun and went on and. Lord, y'all, I ordered from Timu. Um, I have three orders here that I'm going to show you guys. And while I do that, I am going to enjoy a cigar. This is one of my favorites, Groovy Blue Tatiana. And I'm going to try my Bahamian red wine that my friend gave me. Oops, I ain't mean to drop the top. Oh, it smells full of berries. Oh my, okay, super excited. Nice garnet color. I hope y'all can see it. Um, I have my light on today. Hopefully it'll last. There's the wine. And let's let me move that out of the, it's directly in front of me. So I'm gonna sit that there and I'm gonna go ahead and light my cigar. And I'm listening to, um, oh, that is so cute. I am watching, I think it's Life with Q or something like that. I think that's her name. Let me see. I just found her channel. Yeah, Life with Q. She's doing a Summer Dresses 2023 mini haul. She's asking, oh my gosh, I love this cigar. When I tell y'all that this is one of my favorites because it, it just tastes like blueberries. The leaf is so sweet. It's like um, grapes, blueberries, and a um, maple leaf. I need to find get my um. I found my torches, y'all. Finally, and there goes the light. I don't know why my light keeps turning off like that, but I need to get a new one. Let me see if I don't think the ceiling light out here is gonna be bright enough, but I'm gonna try it and see. While I try to relight this, what I was saying was, um, I don't lost my train of thought. The doggone light turned off. Oh Lord, I forgot. The cigar is really good. Um, I don't know what is going on with that light. Why it shorts out like that? And it's plugged in. It's not even like it's an LED or anything. But let's get into this this wine. And um, so again, this is the Tatiana Groovy Blue. You get blueberries, you get grapes, and the leaf is like a, a maple. Now let's try this Bahamian red wine. It's called Vino Rosso Red Wine. Deep ruby red colors with garnet highlights. Yep, you can see the garnet highlights. Um and it is 12.12% 12 12 alcohol by volume oh gosh so very fruity i'm getting bright red fruits mm, smells good okay i got the cigar going in my nose too though Okay, that's good. These two together, amazing. I'm getting raspberries, strawberries. And I'm getting like the essence of rose. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is so fruit forward. It is so good. These two together? I did something with this. I picked out the right cigar to go with this wine. 
Oh my gosh. Ooh. That's good, y'all. Oh my gosh. Now, I hope that... Where did the top go? Because I need to put the top on this. I hope that this is one that I'll be able to find somewhere. I'm highly doubting it, though, because she brought it back from the Bahamas. All right. Um, oh, that's so good. So good. So good. I'm about to get into this Timu haul, but let me come right back. I'm going to see what I can do with this light because I don't even know what it's looking like so far. I don't even know if it got dark because I can't see myself. So y'all give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So, if the light goes out again, please forgive me. I just know I need to order a new light. This is that lip oil that I got from Marshalls that I absolutely love. Because the girlies have been talking about using lip oils. I love it. Alright, so let's get into this haul. So... First up, we're going to go with the blue light glasses since they are already out and I've been wearing them. Um, they really do work. I really like them. The, they're green. I don't know if you can tell, but they are green. The lenses are dirty. But I really like their... They're very lightweight. Um, they're very lightweight and they do what they're supposed to do. They take the glare off of the computer while I'm working. So, and then when you hold them this way, you can actually see the blue light. You can actually also see my fingerprints in these glasses. All right. There's so much stuff in here. So many goodies. Okay. So, first up, we have this beautiful pink dress that has pockets. It is thin. Um, I have actually opened up almost everything. But it's, it's thin and it's going to be cool. It's a high-low. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a high-low. Um, it's it's a lightweight cotton um, and y'all know my daughter is a fashion major so she um, this one is 65% polyester 35% cotton it's very lightweight and I had her look over all of them and she's like oh they're good quality material there's only one dress that we were like yeah about the material but the dress itself is gorgeous all right so that's that dress I'm about to have a mess out here so I'm gonna try to put stuff away as I go all right, then I got this bathing suit because y'all know vacations are on the way. So it is a bikini. It's a green bikini. Love the sides. And here's the top. There's the top. Um, just a nice, it's like a spandex. It has good stretch to it your typical material that your bathing suits are going to be made out of and I am going to wash everything before I put it away so this is the dress this is the dress that I was a little bit um not so much liking the material because it is 100% polyester but the dress is so pretty it is so so pretty it's the perfect length because I, I'm looking for more maxi dresses um, because I've had the same maxi dresses in my closet for years. I typically buy clothes that are going to last me a while. So I'm not sure how long these are going to last, but they're going to do what I need them to do for this summer. I can tell you that. So this is the dress. It comes right to the top of my feet. And y'all already know. Oh, I don't know if I showed y'all the pockets on the other dress, but this dress also has pockets working pockets on both sides so it's like I said I love the dress it is 100% um, polyester but it'll be perfect for like walking on the beach or um, just going shopping or whatever all right so I actually have two of these the other one is in the house because I used it today this is a beautiful tea coffee mug comes with a gold spoon it has a wooden lid to go on it and it's very it has a nice weight to it but this is a I've used I have one that I've used already so now I have a set um because it actually came in one so I let me back up let me backtrack I ordered everything on the 20th and 21st of 
um, June, which was last week, right? So one order came in on the 26th, the other, other order came in the 29th, and then the other order got here today. So the shipping time, I'm very impressed with it. I'm very impressed. I do have another order coming um, from Shein, and I'll go over that order. It's out. It was said it was out for delivery, so it should... I was thinking it was going to get here today, but out for delivery probably means it's going to get here tomorrow. Um, but, I mean, I ordered that one on the 20th as well. So, all in all, the shipping time is not bad. All right, so that is... Oh, that's one bag. This, because y'all know I love my herbs, and I'm always often cooking with them, and I need to try to come up a little closer. Ooh, I got a lot of ash up here. Hold on. That cigar and this wine is so good. All right, so this is a herb, um, not a cutter, but I guess you can call it that. So you see it has several holes and it can be used for all different sizes of her herbs. And you just stick the stem through and you pull it and then the leaves fall on one side and then you have the stem on the other side. So this could be used for herbs and um, I, I need this because I use herbs all the time. As a matter of fact, um, I'm probably gonna use it when I make, I'm gonna make um, pizza, I'm gonna make a homemade pizza and I'm gonna put herbs on it from the garden. So I'll definitely be using it for that. This right here, I'm super stoked about because y'all know I garden. And these little, I'm calling them little claws. They are gonna be so helpful when I'm out lifting leaves up in the garden. Let me get my hands in. So I'll, I'll, I like the garden, but I'm not a gardener as they say. So I'm gonna use these to grab the leaves and put them in the bag. Perfect. Just plastic, heavy duty plastic. And I'll probably, there it goes the light again. I'm probably gonna video myself when I use these so that y'all can see how they are used. Um, but you know, if the leaves are like soggy and wet, you don't have to touch them. And it's still, you know, you're gonna use your rake, you're gonna use your shovel in some cases, but you need these to lift the leaves up. And so I'm gonna use these. And there went the ash. All right, so whew, I'm a little warm out here. All right, these next little things, like I got household things and I got like clothes. These are those little um, gap covers that you put between your up uh, your stove and your um, countertop to fill the gap. So I got black. I will probably get a pair of clear ones, a set of clear ones also because our countertops are like black, gray, and white. Um, so I got black and our stove is black, so that's why I got black, but we'll see. And I will probably pop a little picture up to show y'all how it looks um, on the stove. Um, but they're just silicone, rubber, you know, it's just a gap cover. All right, next up, we have a whole lot of glasses, okay? I saw the sunglasses and I went crazy because I do not believe in, lot, uh, believe in paying a whole lot of money for sunglasses because I love glasses, sunglasses, but y'all, sometimes I'm prone to losing them. All right, so this is the first pair. And I should have bought a little towel to damp to wipe my damp forehead but this is what they look like very lightweight very lightweight but they're so cute all right that's one pair and i am gonna put these back in the plastic because i do not want to scratch up the lenses all right next pair of sunglasses yeah, I told you, I think I got like three pairs of sunglasses. This is the second pair. These are like super chic to me. What y'all think? Lightweight again. And typically I don't wear, um, my eyeglasses have to have a plastic arm because I don't do metal arms because they tend to ir irritate my skin. But these have enough gap in between my skin and the arm that it won't be touching my face. But I really like these. 
I can't wait till like my face is done up, my hair is is all big and curly to see what these is like some big or dangly earrings, some chunky earrings. I like these a lot. And let me pull out the last pair. You know what? I should probably be just putting everything over here and creating creating a pile for the plastic and boxes so I can just take it straight to the recycle bin. That wine though, it is so full of just the berries. And now I'm getting cherries. Like the rainier cherries, That's, I'm tasting that. All right, so this is the last pair of glasses. Now I'm watching Brooke Kennedy, that one of my favorite. Oh, wait a minute, it came with a little um, eyeglass cleaner situation. <laughs> I love it. Yes, honey. Okay, so this is, whoop. okay, so I'm trying to get into different frames, different shapes. Y'all, what you think? What do you think? I like them. They're black, plastic, very lightweight. I love them. I like that silver trim there. And this is what they look like in the back. Can't tell me nothing. I like these. I think these are going to be worn a lot. All right. All right. What else we got? I told y'all it's a lie. I did order a pair of sandals because I wanted to see how the sandals are. And okay. So the sole, the, mm, that's the sticker. Y'all, I take my stickers. I take the stickers off the bottom of my shoes. Um, Ugh, that was sticky. All right, so the that is padded. It is not hard. You can tell this is like a, a it's man-made. I don't even want to call it pleather, but it feels good. So I'm gonna put it on, and I got a size eight. I wear um, a seven and a half, but with my sandals and stuff, I normally get um, a size eight just because your feet might swell. Oh, okay, they do fit very nicely. Um, they fit nicely. My feet are ashy. I would show y'all. You know what? I'm just. I'm actually gonna take a little video and put them up at the top to show you what they look like. Y'all don't joke my feet because they ashy, but they clean. Okay. But oh my gosh, they're very soft. Like they are not pillowy, but actually they have like a little foam or something in them because they're not hard i can't do uncomfortable shoes i don't care how cute the shoe is i'm not gonna wear it if it's uncomfortable oops ash fell on the table i gotta clean that off i'm not one of those who compromises um comfort for cuteness i don't do it and yes i do wear heels three inch three and a half inch i have some four inches but i'm not gonna compromise my feet just because the shoes are cute Mm. that wine is so good all right Whew. i feel like i'm talking fast another dress this one i don't think has pockets yeah i don't think this one has pockets but i'm about to um look like a little chick-fil-a representative with the black and white but it feels so good it is so soft and i know it's polyester but it feels different than the other one. Let me see if this one is mixed. Is a mixed fabric. Because Alyssa did tell me. She said it feels different because this one has spandex in it. But again, this one falls at the top of my feet. I'm short. I'm 5'3". Um, so if it's... If you are tall, then it's probably not going to fit. Like, if you like your dress is like dragging, it's not going to fit that way for you because if you're taller I love the spaghetti straps I like the little V here and again it's just a simple dress very lightweight but it's what I need for this heat um, what is this oh this is a short set 
green is my favorite color this came in a lot of different colors but i decided to go with green obviously because it's my favorite color um the shorts feel great what did she say about this one um she told me oh and i got all of my dresses are in um i think they're larges let me see because i'm in eight ten yeah so i'm in eight i i am a size eight ten so all my things are large so these are the shorts and they have pockets working pockets functional pockets and it just comes with like a, a little tank so i can use this tank with you know other shorts jeans a little cute little skirt um but it's lightweight and i think is this my last dress yeah that's the this is the last this is another dress out of this and when i saw this dress it reminded me of this dress because this is just a, a little you know little sheath dress and this dress has had is it's had its days honey i wear it as a cover-up on the beach i wear it just as a dress as itself this one is very much the same um it, again it's a large and it's tie-dye so this is the dress and it comes to about just a little bit below my knees i believe that's how it looked on the model and sitting down oh the dress i have on is actually oh wait hold on i'm pretending like i got it all so the dress i have on is a little bit longer that wine is um it reminds me of a pinot noir it really does but with a little bit more pronounced fruit and now i'm getting a little it's almost like a nutmeg because i get that you know how nutmeg and cinnamon give you that kind of like a little not tingly sensation but it has its own like little nuttiness or whatever that's what i'm getting now all right so this is the last bag of my order i got this dress for Alyssa, and she just wanted like a little sheath type dress this is the material is thin it's a hundred percent polyester but it feels a lot different than the sundress little dress that for her i love the cut it's rounded at the bottom I don't know if y'all can see that but it's rounded at the bottom and just a dress for her to you know to wear to work or you know she's looking for more sundresses so I thought that was cute um also got her a short set all right so this is and her stuff is all a size small because she's small y'all seen her she a cute little petite thing so this is the top and I thought that was pretty large to be a small, but I might be able to fit it, but it's hers. And it's like a gray type color. And I like it because it's kind of ribbed. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like a ribbed um, texture. And the shorts have a drawstring. Is it functional? Yep, it has a functional drawstring. and it has functional pockets as well functional and they're pretty deep next up i got myself another dress <laughs> this one is so cute it reminded me of like those jersey dresses it has is hooded she's probably gonna want one of these when she sees it she just came outside um she just paused it's a cute little jersey dress the only thing i don't like about it, does it, it does not have pockets but it's a cute dress you've got to try this wine this is the bahamian wine yeah try it um but look at that it's super cute i can see myself wearing this I want it. with what <laughs> i want one. Oh, i'm gonna have to order her one because she wants the dress i can see myself wearing this with like some converse some like all white um chuck taylor's 
Uh, even my green ones, but it's a cute hooded dress. That would be cute with like a little backpack. A little, you know, I ain't wearing no backpack. But it would be I good. Would. Yeah, it'd be great for you. But like vacations, I could wear this and have a backpack if we're on like an excursion or something. So that would even be good. With the, um, fanny pack. Oh, a fanny pack. Oh, she a fanny pack. See, look at this. Just came out. Smells like cherries. Girl, that wine is so good. It's for me. like some kind of like bark. I don't. I don't even know what this is. Y'all, I was just seeing stuff and clicking because it was cute. <laughs> and is inexpensive. Yes, it is very sweet. I can smell it. It's like blueberries and... It smells like blueberries and cream like berries and cream. Oh, it, I didn't think about the cream part. This is also hers. <laughs> Yay! I don't know if they can see you because I have the, the way I have the camera situated. But she wanted something to put like her um, Q-tips and cotton balls and... Oh, it has three compartments here. I don't think we saw that. Uh -uh. So I got her a little um, organizer for her cotton balls and stuff. When I get more cotton rounds. Oh, yeah, your cotton rounds. Could they go in there? And then you can just pull them out like that. So that's cute. That's going to go in her bathroom. I honestly might take that with me to campus. You going to take this to campus? Maybe. Oh. I mean, it's not I like anybody to... goes in your bathroom when you're not here other than me. Yeah, and I don't I do. use the stuff in there. No, I'm just saying because like I'll have like that big sink that I had last time. Oh you know, yeah, the double sink setup instead of like that tiny sink. You want to keep it in the box? Yes. All right. Let's see what else do we have here. So earlier we were talking about packing cubes, right? And I was thinking. Wait a minute. That tastes like apples. I thought I had bought packing cubes, but I guess I didn't get the whole set of packing cubes. I didn't, so that means I need to order packing cubes. I ordered only one. How not smart of that? I thought it was a set. Why would you order them? Well, I already had already ordered this. I was gonna have two sets. So, oh no, this is not. Oh, you know what? The packing cubes I ordered from another company. This is my electronics organizer. That's what this is. You have these in your store? Yes. Okay, so this is perfect for like your chargers, your earphones, all of that stuff. Just a um, organizer of like, you can use it for your purse, your um, briefcase, your tote, traveling. Oh, Lord, y'all. I got a lot of stuff. What's out there? That butterfly was going bananas. Oh, and butterflies, I just found out. I did not know. They are pollinators. Yeah. I did not know. All right, so this is for the kitchen counter. It um, is a spoon and lid rest. Here, your fork, whatever you're cooking, and you can see your lid, the um, top for your lid can go there. And I know it'll, it'll like overhang, but you know, the drippage, the drippage will go in here. But I got that for the kitchen. I've just been sipping this. this is good. It's really good, right? Can you go get your own it's glass a though? Big bird. Can, can you go get your own glass? I'm not going to drink all of it. Oh, okay. And I got this for her, for her passport. So let me see if I can. I bet it won't. Um, Two dollars. I'm trying to see how to open this. Maybe four ninety nine. Yeah, this was not four ninety nine. That's good though. It's it really like, good. It tastes like apples. Well, I didn't get apples. But no, no, our palettes are different though. No, I don't know what that is. So this is just a passport cover for her to put her passport port inside. It's just a cute little cover. And you know what? Your your ID may be able to go in there too. But it's just a passport cover and maybe your um, vaccination card can go in the back. Because you know when you go on a trip, sometimes you have to have that. So just something to cover her passport up with. Yeah, it tastes like apples and like dark cherry. Um, so I have been needing a salad spinner and I just didn't get one because I didn't want to buy one from the store because I didn't want to pay all that money for them because it's just to dry my salad. So I got two salad spinners because when I told my mom I was buying one, she was like, oh, you should probably get two. Y'all know I got two. So I got one for my parents and one for us. And it's just a salad spinner. I had one. I think I threw it away. I don't yeah, know what I did. I threw it away. Mm -hmm. So it's just your little typical basket. Huh? When we move yeah. from Northern Virginia to here? 
Mm -mm, I threw it away from when we moved from over yeah. there to here. Uh -huh. Oh gosh. So it's just a um Oh, did I break it? Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Woo. I don't know my own strength. Alright, so it's just a salad spinner. Dry your salad. You could also make a homemade salad in it and spin it and it will mix your salad up. You like that, don't you? I do. Mm-hmm. That's how it feels. Another kitchen item. Oh my goodness. I know, don't judge me. And of course, here's my parents. I'm not gonna open theirs. That bag is empty. And my last thing that I am super excited about. The leaf is sweet. It's like um um the leaf is like maple all right so plant-based helen was um she got a sponsorship i can't remember the name of the company but when i saw her use hers and i saw one on amazon not amazon lord on timu that was similar to hers, i just had to have one because it y'all know we have our own garden it is a Plant-Based Helen was, um, she got a sponsorship. I can't remember the name of the company, but when I saw her use hers and I saw one on Amazon, not Amazon, Lord, on Timu that was similar to hers, I just had to have one because it, y'all know we have our own garden. It is a wireless purification. So you can use this for all of your fresh fruits and veggies. So... The way it works, you sit it, you sit in the base this way. Yeah, it sits in the base this way, and it charges. And it has a C. It's called a C, right? The C charger, C port, C port. And so it comes with the the um charging cable. Of course, it does not come with a brick, so you need to have your own brick but it charges and then what you do is excuse me my nose itches you put your water in your sink you put in your, and you can use this from all of for all of your fruits and vegetables from the grocery store any you're gr growing all of your fruits and vegetables you put them in this in the sink you drop this device in the water and it pulls and it the button here it has a off and on button right here and it actually it's on right now and so you just put it in the sink and then you let it leave it in there with your fruits and vegetables and you it has a beep. it has a beep i don't know if y'all can hear it or not i don't know you may you may hear it, you may not but you just drop it in and i'm gonna show you a picture it pulls the dirt any bugs anything like that that may be on your fruits and vegetables it pulls them off so it, it gives you a nice clean clean way to clean your vegetables without having to use any type of um sprays or anything like that so another kitchen item so that has been my first timu haul super excited this stack here is uh really special yeah this has been cool my first order from timu I hope that you, so sweet. I huh? The, I actually like the smell of that. That reminds me of like when I was growing up, dad's, um, his pipes, that yeah. cherry tobacco. Oh my God, it used to smell so good. But anywho, this has been my Timu order, uh, my Timu haul. Me and my daughter, I don't know if they can see you because I don't, I don't even know. Can y'all see her? Me and my baby. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You wouldn't believe it. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for reminding me. And that like button and the comments, they really do help us, especially us. I call myself a micro mini vlogger. Yes, I know micro and mini is basically the same thing, but I'm micro mini because I don't even have 400 people yet, but I'm gonna get there. I know I'm gonna get there. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye.